all right you guys so here we are day three i am over with the chickens i had a client to come in at 5 45 this morning so i decided that i could have waited to let it go work out but i'm like since i'm already up let's go do it and i have not had a smoothie yet because i didn't prepare last night and my parents and them are sleeping so i know i'm not gonna crank that blend up this early so for on the go um i was gonna go for a little fasty cardio because i'm gonna do some hit cardio today a full body kettlebell workout i will also show you guys that as well and but instead i'm gonna be grabbing me a banana if anytime you on a way to go work out and you on the run and you need some energy eat a banana literally the banana will fuel you to give you your best exercise that you need okay so i will clock in with y'all I'm going to go clock in at the gym first, and then I'm going to clock in with y'all and show y'all my first smoothie. I'll probably go to the grocery store because I didn't get a chance to go yesterday to grab the extra ingredients that I will need for my green smoothie today. All right, see y'all after my workout. Okay, so today was a full body workout, and lately I have been having a big obsession with kettlebells just because of the way that it's made. It allows you to do so many movements. So today I just played with a couple movements that I saw on Instagram just to work on my flow. And, yep, it was pretty rough. I did each move for about 40 seconds on or 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and I did five rounds. My hamstrings definitely pay for it with all these pull throughs, but we move. Okay, so now this move was my personal fave. It took me a minute to get it. Before I started doing these moves, I practiced each one every time. As you can see, I had a little bit of trouble with my balance and just trying to catch the pedal the kettlebell to go right into it. It was a definitely a struggle, but I kept doing that until I perfected it. But each rep wasn't perfect. And now this one was to work on my shoulders and then go into a side lunge. Whenever I do a full body workout, I try to hit all muscle groups, whether it's upper body, shoulders, triceps, biceps, everything is included with these compound movements. And especially using these kettlebells allows you to do different things with them. Okay, so let's talk about the least favorite off the bunch. This one was a killer. I was using 10 pounds at first, but I said, you know what? Let me grab those fives because your girl not there yet. And I never try to pressure myself to live heavy. Like, if I know that it's kind of to a point where I can't last long, I would definitely go down on the way. So the fives did more justice. I saw this on Instagram, and I honestly don't know how they was doing it with heavyweight. But practice makes perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and taste the smoothie. So I was going for an all-grain smoothie, but I'm like, nah, I wasn't ready for it. And plus, I want to go with the ginger and the lemon to get my all-grain smoothie. I want to do it exactly the way I saw it. So I'm going to go to the store and grab that for real because this morning has been crazy hectic. And I can honestly say right now I am tired. I probably, who knows, I probably would have felt a little bit better if I would have had a smoothie prepared before I went and worked out or right after I worked out before I got ready to train. But right now I'm a little exhausted, not really craving anything. When I was out there training, I did kind of get a little rumble in my stomach. I was hungry, but it went away. So we're going to do half of this now and then half of this for the second one. And then I'll make the third one for later on after boot camp. And I might even split this up. I might do this one now and then do the green one in the middle and then that one right before. So we shall see. Let's see what it's tasting like. Yeah, I really think it's the mixed berries. I think the mixed berries are giving it that sweet taste that it needs. So, definitely want to try that green smoothie and the grapes. The grapes are really sweet, too. I taste the grapes. Definitely want to try that green smoothie. I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. I definitely want to try that green smoothie without the mixed berries. Just to see how it tastes. And we're going to relax a little bit. Take a woo side, run to the store, and then get ready for lunch. That's the goal, okay? 
Okay, you guys, so now it's lunchtime. Here are all the things that was included into my pizza. This is my homemade papadilla. Popped it in the air fryer, and this is how it came out. I should really make an air fryer cookbook because literally everything I cook is in the air fryer, and it comes out perfect. All right, you guys, so now we are on smoothie number two. Okay, so let's just reflect on how I'm feeling today. Today, I am super tired. Partly because I woke up super early. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning and didn't ensure that I got enough hours of sleep. So, I am paying for it now. I am feeling a little bit, like, honestly, I really don't feel hungry. But I do have the urge to eat something. So, I'm going to drink this smoothie. And it's going to be important for me to listen to my body. And then a few, I might, I'm, well, I'm not, my, I'm going to do a protein shake. Just to kind of, you know, make sure I get that protein and before it's time for my last client and then boot camp, which is 5.30 and then 7 o'clock. So, so far, day three is the toughest just because, you know, I had to wake up super, super early this morning, woke up from a nap, had about a good 45, 50 minute nap, needed a little bit more sleep, but we are here. So here is smoothie number two. And then I'll be making smoothie number three in a little bit. It's going to be my green smoothie. This is my, let's we're going to see how I feel about it. This is my green smoothie. And I will do one tonight. And then I'll also do the next one in the morning. Okay. But this is the last day of my three day smoothie cleanse. And I will continue to keep you guys updated. I will keep continue to, you know, vlog a little bit. Because I want to kind of see how long I can stick with this. And I want to finish this week off and hopefully start again next week. But so far, so good. A little tired, a little fatigued, but we're pushing through. So let me enjoy this smoothie. And if I do have the urge to eat something like a small snack, maybe some yogurt or something, I would definitely do that. Not trying to deprive myself. I need to be fully energized for boot camp this evening. So, yeah. All right, you guys. So here we are right at the boot camp. And you guys, I did cave in. Like I said, I, I was feeling like I wanted something to eat. So I did eat something, as you can see right here. And right after I ate, I wanted some Oreos. So I ate two Oreos, the two Oreo things. Like me personally, the Oreo things are way better than the regular Oreos. So that's what I ate. I had two of them. I could have easily fought my craving, but I'm like, nah, let me not fight my craving because come time, the weekend, I didn't want to eat. Be like, okay, maybe it's the weekend. Let me have an Oreo and then eat up everything. Eat, eat up like eight Oreos. Wasn't trying to do that, so I ate two Oreos, and literally after those two Oreos, I was okay. I didn't want any more. And usually, like, I told y'all, like, after I would eat something, I would always crave something sweet, and then I eat something sweet, and then I want something more and more sweet. And update, today, I am literally starving. So yesterday... I can definitely tell the difference with me timing my meals and with like me, the time, how much sleep that I get and like just throughout the day, how I'm feeling. I was a lot hungrier today than the last two days. Like right now I'm starving. I have a couple of errands to run before I actually settle down to eat. And I'm going to be doing baked fish tonight. I don't know what size I'm going to do with it. Haven't really decided, but I am going to be doing baked fish tonight. And yeah i'm starving so i definitely been realized that like when i was going on my kick of waking up at six o'clock every morning the earlier i wake up the more hungry i am throughout the day because i'm literally up all day being active and i was super duper tired today just because of the fact i told you guys i woke up at five o'clock this morning didn't really go to sleep early enough so i was a little bit tired i took two naps today the first one was about 40 minutes and then the second one was about 40 minutes so about two 40 minute naps maybe like a good hour or two in between each other so yeah i was really really tired today but i'm feeling good i'm feeling alive hungry and i'm up now i'm very energized i know it's probably gonna be hard for me to go to bed but we're doing it so after adding all my meals i did have a lot of calories left over so I went for some fish and I took a couple of shrimp and sausage from the leftover gumbo and then added a Hawaiian sweet roll on the side. And you know your girl had to add some dessert in. So I did one of these mini bluebell sandwiches, ice cream sandwiches for only 100 calories. So yep, that completes my day of eating. Alright you guys, so it is day four. And as I promised yesterday, I did not 
I promised to myself. I did not get a chance to make the green smoothie. I had to go run a couple errands at the boot camp, and after that, I was tired. And so, lesson learned. I know that it will be a lot easier for me to get these smoothies in. These, I don't even know, smoothie juices, whatever I want to call them. Because sometimes they're juicy, and sometimes they smoothie. Like, it'll probably be easier for me to get these in if I'm already, like, one, I already have them pre-prepared. Uh, I think like pre prepare as like all the fruits or vegetables that I'll put in the smoothie, have them already in a bag, chopped up and ready to go. So then I'm just throwing it in the blender because like in between clients and in between me getting my own workout in, in between me trying to rest, it is a challenge. Definitely trying to get, you know, three smoothies in a day. I have to have one ready in the morning just so I could drink it. And one thing I have noticed is that my energy level has changed a lot just by drinking the smoothies. On top of, you know, my cravings, I was able to control my cravings the first two days. And then on the third day, I did kind of want something sweet. And I was able to eat something sweet but not still wanting something else sweet. So I did have two, like, sweet treats yesterday. But it was in, like, one was, like, at maybe, like, 9, 9.30. And the other one was earlier in the day. And my starting weight... I, like I said, I was fresh off my period. My starting weight was 182.6. And today, I weighed in at 178.4. So, a lot of water weight has been released. My stomach was hurting so bad this morning, you guys. And right now, it is day four. And I'm only going to do one smoothie today just because I have a busy day with clients. And the way these smoothies has been cutting up with my stomach at first it wasn't that bad but like over time it started to get a little bit worse like and it's not like really really painful like it's just like i gotta go i just want i know i'm being tmi but it's not really as painful but i know i gotta go and then in this smoothie this the green smoothie i put kale spinach ginger green apple and honey so this one is a very like, I really taste the difference with the sweetness. Is that's not, it's not as sweet as my berry one, y'all, my favorite one. So, that's the one I'm drinking now while I have a break in between my clients. I'm going to try to get it down quickly just in case it decides to mess my stomach up before I'm really, really busy back to back. Don't have time to be going to the restaurant while I'm trying to train. So, yeah. I really appreciated doing this, like, semi-cleanse because I feel the difference in my body. I feel the difference with my energy levels. And I know... No cleanse or no no diet or no nutrition plan will serve the good enough purpose if it's getting enough sleep. Because in like yesterday when I had to wake up at five forty five, like tomorrow I have to get up at five five o'clock. I know if I don't have enough sleep, I won't be my best self. So it's very important to get that, you know, get enough sleep and get that sleep in so that you can be energized throughout the day. And then adding in the proper nutrients within your food to give you that extra energy where I have to take, you know, pre-workouts and stuff. Because I know, like, for the past couple of weeks, I find myself doing a lot of pre-workouts, uh, taking a lot of pre-workouts lately because I didn't feel like I had the energy. But really, I just needed more sleep. And really, I just needed more fruits and vegetables in my eating, my daily eating. I thank you guys so much for, you know, walking through this journey with me. And I will continue to do it. I will continue to keep you guys updated. I'll probably take it down to one smoothie a day just to keep it balanced, just to keep my stomach in order because anybody got time to be running to the restroom. But with that being said, I hope you guys try this out. And if you try this out, I will put all the ingredients I use for each smoothie below and try it out don't go your three days try to eat clean three meals a day even more like try to get to your calorie count don't try to under eat during this cleanse because that was not my goal and don't under eat please don't under eat because you don't want to come off the cleanse and then start back really eat, regular eating and then gain all the little the water weight that you lost back so my goal is to make it safely through the weekend without binge eating i really think that i will do good this weekend i will try to monitor myself and see how having at least one of these throughout the weekend will help me stay on track and stay balanced with my eating i really want to become better with you know the weekends i used to have big troubles with the weekend at the beginning of my journey and it came back now that i moved back home but we working we always working always a work in progress but with that being said thanks for tuning in once again and y'all know the drill come back and mess with your girl peace out